Hi everyone, it's Dr. Candice Silvala from Rustic Ranch Remedies. In today's video, I made an oil and water lotion using lecithin. Lecithin is typically a water and oil emulsifier. It's a natural emulsifier and it can be extremely tricky to work with. But I followed a guide in order to make this oil and water lotion using the lecithin and I am so thrilled with it. So keep watching to find out how to make this oil and water lotion. We're gonna start off writing our formula. I'm gonna list the ingredients right here and then in the percentages that I will have those ingredients in and then I will calculate how many grams that will be in a 250 gram batch. In an oil and water emulsion, we will need an emulsifier to bring together the water and the oil phase. And then it's a good idea to have a gum. I'm gonna be using xanthan gum in order to stabilize the emulsion. Xanthan gum is a lot easier to disperse into the water phase of a formula if it's first mixed with glycerin, which is also humectant and is really nice for the skin. And then we need a antioxidant for the oil phase in order to prevent rancidity of the oils and a preservative. I'll be using the preservative called GeoGuard ECT. It's also called Preservative Eco and also has a few other names. So for the less thin, I'm going to be using 3%. The water phase is 76.5%. The oil phase is 15%, and I'm making this formula very, very simple. I'm not only using one oil for this formula. 4% glycerin, 0.4% xanthan gum, 0.1% rosemary CO2, which is the, the antioxidant, and 1% of the preservative. Now I'll calculate the grams. So this is the basic formula that I will be following in order to make this oil and water emulsification. Lecithin is typically a water and oil emulsifier, which means that the water is inside all of the oil particles. So what you will feel on the skin is more of an oily or greasy texture. Oil and water is when the oil is on the inside and it's surrounded by water. For most people this gives a nicer skin feel, it's lighter and it's more breathable and it's what you find in most skincare products. Water and oil emulsifications are mostly found in sunscreens and foot care products where you are sealing in any of the water and um, gives a more of a water resistant type of feel and um, function to the product where oil and water gives a more light feeling to the skin it's more breathable and it's in most skincare products you'll find um, oil and water emulsifications and lecithin is typically used in a water and oil type of emulsification but i've come across a way that you can use lecithin as a oil and water emulsification and it requires hydrating the lecithin and then slowly adding the oil phase and then slowly adding the rest of the water phase. This is the basic formula here but down, but down below I'm going to be breaking that down into steps. In the first step of this formulation, we're going to be adding all of the lecithin, the 3%, with just 6% of water. 
We're going to be stirring that for 30 minutes to hydrate the lecithin. Step two, we're going to be adding 4% of the oil by trickling it into the hydrated lecithin and stirring in between each addition. Next, we'll be combining the rest of the oil phase and the rosemary extract. And doing the same way, we're going to be trickling and stirring. Next, we'll be adding the xanthan gum and glycerin together in order to hydrate and disperse the gum. This will be done in, in a separate beaker. Then we'll be adding the water slowly to the glycerin and gum mixture in order to incorporate the gum and glycerin into the water phase. Step six is adding the entire water phase by trickling it into the lecithin and oil. After adding all the ingredients, except for the preservative, we're going to homogenize the mixture. Then we're going to be adding the preservative, which is 1% or 2.5 grams. As you can see, there's a lot of steps here and it's going to take a lot of patience and a lot of stirring and following the steps exactly in order. You can stir this by hand with a rod, but I'm going to be using my stationary mixer in order to help me along with this. And this is a, um, a lab equipment um, stirrer. I'm gonna be using a 400 milliliter beaker for this project. I'm going to be using this sunflower lecithin. It has been 30 minutes now and the lecithin is hydrated. You can see it is uniform and creamy looking. The machine did all the work for me. I'm now gonna be placing 10 grams of the oil, which is 4% of the formula, in the speaker. And then we're gonna be trickling it in
process that just happened was after I added all the oils, the mixture was pretty thick and then all of a sudden it's getting thinner. So I'm just going to allow that to uh, continue mixing with the overhead mixer. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I'm going to be mixing together the glycerin and xanthan gum now. So I need 10 grams of glycerin. and one gram of xanthan gum. Now we just stir to combine. In a larger beaker, we're going to Put the rest of our water phase which is just water and it's 176.25 grams so we have our xanthan gum dispersed in the glycerin on the left here and our water on the right i'm just going to add a little bit of the water to start hydrating gel here with the glycerin xanthan gum and added water and we're going to start pouring this into the larger beaker with the oil we're going to start trickling in this water phase. So this is what the lotion looks like right now. It feels like a, a thin pudding. It feels really creamy. It has a nice oat color to it. A lot of times uh, lecithin 
will have a darker color and especially when you're using larger percentages of it in your formula but um, in this formula you're only using three percent and it only has a very slight aroma of the lecithin which is kind of a nutty flavor but it can be very overpowering to the formula when you're using it in higher percentages and and it can require a good amount of essential oils to cover up that smell. This is really nice, but I just wanna see what the formula does when you use a homogenizer on it. So I am going to do that and homogenize it for one minute. So I have my homogenizer here. It's the same one I used in a previous video, the Mosquito 250P. It's a handheld homogenizer, which I find to be just fine with these small batches with holding it since I only need to homogenize for about a minute. It's not too heavy or anything. you can tell but the lotion has gotten whiter in color it feels lighter now the consistency has definitely changed just like it did when I did the experiment of, of doing one um, emulsification with just a stirring rod and the other one using the homogenizer it changes the consistency it just feels more sophisticated and elegant the last thing I'm going to do with my formula is add a preservative and I'm using GeoGuard ECT. You can find it on Formulator Sample Shop and we just use 1% which is 2.5 grams of this formula. I could have added the preservative before I homogenized it too. I'm just going to pour some of that into this little amber glass bottle here with this treatment pump top. That way I can uh, see how it works inside a container like this. You can see it pours really nicely and easily into the container. I'm going to be covering this with foil to see the consistency tomorrow as well as um, trying this pump top out and seeing how it works out of here. The formula won't reach its final consistency until about 12 to 24 hours after you've made the, a formula. So some final thoughts I have right now is um, I did not need to make as large of a batch as this but the equipment I used required a bit of a larger volume in order to me, for me to use my equipment. So in order for me to use the overhead stirrer, and especially at the beginning, which set with such a small percentage of the formula that I was mixing together, there had to be some volume in order for that to happen. And then I needed um, a certain amount of volume for my homogenizer to work really well. If you're trying this formula out for the first time, trying to make a, an oil and water um, emulsification with lecithin, go ahead and use a much smaller volume, whether that's 50 milliliters or 100 milliliters. That way you're not spending so much time mixing with each of the steps. You're not gonna have such a large volume to add inside and stir. There's so many ways that this formula can be tweaked and adding adding different actives, macerated oils, glycerites. But I think it's important to make a super simple formula when you're first trying this out, just to see how the process goes. Cause you don't want this to fail and then, you know, lose all your really precious ingredients, your high quality oils, your precious actives. This was a lot easier and successful than I expected. Um, I did, wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't know if there was gonna be a separation, if my equipment was gonna work properly with it or how anything was gonna go. So I was thrilled to find out that this works so well and to be able to make 
a lotion with such natural ingredients is amazing, especially using lecithin as an oil in water emulsifier. Lecithin is one of the most natural emulsifiers that you can find on the market. And it can be extremely tricky to work with and use. But the way that I showed you here was very successful. It was easy. Yes, it was very time consuming. And that's something to factor into whether or not this is a this is going to be a good method and good emulsifier for you to use. So I'm gonna let these sit overnight. We will come back tomorrow and check its final consistency. It is the next morning now and we're gonna check the final consistency of this oil and water lecithin lotion. It feels pretty much the same as it did yesterday. Let's see how it works with this treatment pump top. <clears throat> works great. The lotion's pretty thin. It absorbs in the skin really nicely. There's no soaping. There's no greasiness. There's no tackiness. It feels really nice. I wanna show you the difference between a oil and water emulsion compared to a water and oil emulsion with lecithin. On the left here, you can see this is the oil and water emulsion that we made. And then on the right is a water in oil emulsion using lecithin. And you can see the color difference. There's quite a big color difference. And there's a huge texture difference. There's, there are several differences between this formula. The one on the left here that we made, there was 15% oils in here. There was no butters. On the right here with this water and oil emulsion, we have um, about 40% oils and a lot of those are butters. So the consistency is definitely different. This is much thicker, richer. It feels like there is a rich cream on the skin. It does not feel greasy. It feels much heavier and richer. And to show you the difference between how an oil and water emulsion behaves in water compared to a water and oil and how um, the water and oil is more water repellent, just place it in water. Stir and we can see how it behaves. And it easily and completely dissolved in the water. And we will do the same thing with this water and oil emulsion. We can see that it will break up, but it's clumped together and it does not completely dissolve in the water. So that's it for this video. You can see how versatile lecithin is and how it is possible to make an oil and water emulsion as well as a water and oil emulsion. And the range of different products and textures and feel that you can make with this very versatile product. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for stick, sticking around till the very end. Um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.